Yo, what's up? I'm only going to introduce myself one time, one time only. You can call me Slide. Because when I look you in the eye, tell you I'm going to slide by, you know what's coming next. I'm coming in and I'm taking the money. It's just what I do, you see. Now I got some beefs out there. I got some beefs and I'm gonna throw them out right now, you see, because there's a lot of you cats out there, a lot of you younger cats, who you can't hang with the OGs, you see. You can't hang with the OG BSPs. It's just not in your blood, you see. You see, we come from a different time. Us BSP OGs, we come from a different time, a different place, you see. You're walking around in those thrift stores holding your cell phones thinking you're the shit, you see. Now, you can't hold a candle to the OGs. So here's what I'm doing, I'm calling you out. You see, the other day I did a drive-by thrifting. And I don't think you're man enough to do it. Or woman enough. I don't think you are capable of doing a drive-by thrift. You see, so I'm calling you out. Now, you may be asking yourself a lot of questions right now, and I'm only going to answer what I feel like answering, you see. The OGs of the BSP is challenging you to a drive-by. Now, what you got to do is you walk up, you drive up to a thrift store, you take your phone and you leave it in the car and you walk your happy ass into that thrift store. Now, I want to see how much money you can scoop up without that technology in your hand, you see, because the OG, the BSPs, we come from a different school. BSP, before smartphones, you see where we had to walk and just use what's in our heads to make our money. Are you capable of that? Do you have that knowledge in your head? Can you walk into a thrift store and stand with an OG, BSB? Can you? I'm challenging you. So here's what I picked up the other day. We're gonna start over here with probably a few flops, you see, cause, cause the OGs have flops, and it's okay. Because we know enough to make up for it on the back end, you see. So let me show you where we start today. So we start with this Orion DVD TV combo, $3.99 with remote. Boom, that's a $50 piece right there, $50. Down here, we got a little Samsung DVD player. Half price that day. I paid two fifty for that. Two fifty, But it's a loss because it's only a $10 player, you see. $10 players don't get you nowhere. You got to be a high-end player. Right here, we got the Sony. We got the Sony, half price. Paid nine fifty for it. Nine fifty. You see, but this thing's only worth about $25. So we got another... We got another loss right here, unless I sell it local, which I may just do that because that's what an OG does. He adapts. You see here we got a, a JVC receiver, half price. Paid $8 for it. It's about a $25 piece right there, you see. So we didn't do too well here. But you see, we know enough to make it up on the back end. So we're gonna get into the back end now. So you may be thinking to yourself, why would I be so stupid to leave my cell phone, my smartphone in the car and try to hang with an OG? It's a challenge. You either, you're either big enough to accept it or you just weak. You just weak. Let me get on with what's going on here. All right, we got a little Seagram's, Seagram, you see, a nice vintage piece, you see, half price I paid for, I paid three fifty, three fifty for it. That should do all right, you see, because the OGs, they know. I'm only going to give you 
need a flash of this because I don't want I don't want to confuse the smartphone and make it think well, it's looking at myself. What am I doing here? Boom, 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 boom. Canadian Club imported whiskey mirror set. Half price, three fifty. Three fifty for it. That's how OGs roll. All right, I got more. I got more. Hang on. I got more. There's one thing OGs know about, you see. OGs always know about the kicks, the Jordans, the alternatives. We got a youth Jordan 4, because an OG knows. Half price. Pay three dollars. Tree. Three dollars. Think I'm stopping there? I'm OG, baby. I don't just stop with one Jordan, I get two. Half price. Three dollars. Three dollars, baby. Three dollars. Price guns, anyone? Price guns. I sell price guns all day long. Half price, two dollar. Two dollar, baby. Now you see here. Here's a chance. Here's a chance I took. Cause these are hit and miss, and mostly the misses. But I went ahead and anyway because I knew I had confidence in the OG stylings of the BSP that I can make it up on the back end. You see. Half price, two fifty. Two fifty, I paid. Wingman, light joystick, eighty band, so four dollar. Four dollar for that. I took a chance here, cause it's all about chances, baby. You gotta, you gotta go. You gotta go. You just gotta go. You just can't sit there and just let things slide by you. So I got this vintage seat cushion from the Olympics, 1980. I paid, I paid up for that. I paid $6. I paid up for that in their overpriced boutique section. But I did it anyway. Is it a loss? I don't know. You're just going to have to look into my store and see. Because I haven't looked this shit up yet. Got a few CDs here. A couple of bad religions. Not sure if I'm selling these. That's why I just got them for me. Probably gonna go in my collection. But this one's this one's for sale. And you might think, damn dude, why'd you pay 50 cent for a Green Day CD? It's a half off, you see. Why'd you pay 50 cent for a Green Day CD? That shit ain't worth nothing. I can get those for a penny all day long on Amazon. That ain't worth shit. But see, here's where the here's where the OG comes around and teaches you a thing or two, you see. That's called an import. It's called an import. That's why I paid 50 cents for it. Because collectors, they like the they like the variations of the albums. There's always something different going on about an import, you see. Everything from sound quality to artwork, to uh, even sometimes an extra song thrown on. So that's why I got the Green Day Dookie. Dookie, I just like saying that word, Dookie. All right, now we're gonna get into the clothes. We're gonna get into the threads, you see. What we got going on here is some OG shit. <clears throat> We got this Burry Lane. I know nothing about Burry Lane, but I took a chance. You know why? Because it's winter time coming up. And this shit look comfy. This shit look like it's going to keep you warm. All right. Viva la Rasta. That's what I'm talking about right there. All right, what we got next? Fighting a lie and I only got this for one reason. Cost me a dollar fifty. Dollar fifty fine. Fighting a lie and I. 
Are you tired of this talking yet? Because I personally am. So I'm going in James mode. Screw it. All right. Because <clears throat> it got old really quick. <laughs> I've been over it for a minute. Uh, this one I paid two bucks for. A Reebok. All black sweatshirt. This was nice. Paid two fifty for it. Since they moved on, I went ahead and grabbed this too. Very nice shirt, Nike. <clears throat> Very nice. Paid a dollar ninety nine. Probably overpriced, but a Billabong. I usually sell. Billabongs usually move pretty quick for me, so. The only reason I grabbed that. Man, my sinuses. Kill me today. Alright, we got Adidas. Number five. I'd have to look this up. This is a, this ain't Mambo, is it? Or is it Mambo? I thought that was Nike. Or is that just like a thing? Kobe? I don't know, man. I gotta look that up. Spacing on that stuff. I haven't, I haven't collected the shoes in a while. How about touch? I got this because it was a dollar. And it's funny as hell. You know me. Paid a dollar. Gatlinburg, Tennessee, my favorite place. I should say one of my favorite places. My favorite convenient place since it's close. How about that? Uh, I grabbed this and I, is this like Punisher? Not sure. I paid two fifty for it. It's Marvel hoodie. I don't know if I've overpaid. I don't know if that's like. Who the character is? Punisher? I don't know. Took a chance. Took a chance. I was blind. I didn't have my phone. You see. So that's how we rolled on this. Drive-by thrifting. Paid $2 for this. I don't know who they are. Elwood Tigers. It's a nice pullover. Definitely got to wash that. Put some stain stuff on it. All right, we paid one dollar for Cookie. Cookie usually moves pretty well for me. Didn't have much in the store. They had a lot, but I don't know. Just wasn't a lot of quality. So I paid a dollar. So I'm just scraping by with this stuff. But there is one piece I'm going to say to the end that will probably pay for it all. Because you know how I like to roll. I like to find that one or two items that's going to pay for it all. So this item, I paid a dollar for it. The Wild Horse Saloon shirt. Oh, crap. There best be another bag. Because my shirt item is not in here. Uh oh, I'm worried right now. I need to go to the garage. Go see if there's another bag out in my garage. Alright, uh, I'm freaking right now, sorry. Uh, the Lodge Four Seasons, very uh, quality felt jacket I paid. Two dollars for it. Uh, I'll be right back. Woo. had fallen over. I was stressed there. I was stressed. I had that one piece that's going to pay for it all, and I didn't see it. Now I remember this stuff. So I paid $2.50 for this. It's a browning plaid button-up shirt. These were cool. So I thought. 
by Browning. I paid $250, but it's Winchester. Very nice. I haven't looked these up yet, but this is, I mean, this don't even look worn. And Winchester always does pretty well. So I'm expecting hopefully 25, 30 bucks a piece out of this one. And I thought I had two Winchesters, but I don't. Got two Brownings, or three Brownings actually. So I got a Browning. 250 on that also. They don't look, like I said, they look brand new. Got a second one. I got these. I'll probably keep these for myself. Some swim trunks. Orange, polo, Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren, yeah. Polos. Like my orange, so those are probably mine. This was cool. I paid a buck for it. It's half off. <laughs> How cool is that? Levi. Toddler Levi jacket. Youth, kid, toddler, whatever. Whatever. Little rug rat. One dollar. Miami Heat. Pretty cool shirt. All right, paid a dollar for just a plain Jordan T. Paid, I paid two dollars for this, but there was a reason. And I, I'm not a big baseball fan, even though like Cardinals is like a religion around these these place this part. But. That's why I grabbed it and paid two bucks for it, especially if you saw game one or what was it, the last game, I think, or the game before that, that put him into the game five. So, Molina, big player around here. This was cool, Nike shirt, and I paid two dollars for it. Never seen it before. So, that was cool. That's the one you can't see yet. I didn't even look at that last one yet. This was cool. I love this stuff. What I pay for it? Two dollars. Nice sweatshirt. Love that. All right, here's the piece. I haven't looked it over. I didn't look it over. I was making one last trip around the store. And since women's clothes is not my strong point, and I didn't have my phone, like I said, this was about, this was a drive-by. This was just to go in, see what I can find, make a little video series ID, and challenge some other some of you guys to do this. Leave your phone in the car. Go in and see what you can do. See what you can find. See how much money you can make. So on my way out, I'm like, I'm just going to walk down this lady's aisle to the checkout and just see if anything jumps out at me. I was walking down the aisle and there was a roll of pants and there was a shirt out of place within the pants. So it stuck out to me. I grabbed it to look at it. And I defecated my panties. I did. I, no, I, I didn't. But I could have. I paid one dollar for it. How should I introduce this? You can just start here. If you, are, if you don't know that label... If you don't know that label, do some work. A lot of you out there probably know what I'm about to show you with that label. At least the area, the not particularly the details of the item, but the broad 
concert t-shirt. Let me just say it, concert t-shirt. Dun, 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 dun. This, I think, goes for, I haven't looked it up yet, and I hope I'm not looking like an idiot making this video since I have not looked it up. Maybe I should look it up real quick. I'm going to look it up real quick before I... So I don't look like a total idiot. Oh, I'm making you wait. Am I? Can you hear what I'm typing? Oh, wait, that ain't a telephone where it makes certain noises. Let me switch to highest first because I believe this is going to be in the highest. Mm, that one's lower than I thought. Yeah, that one's lower than I thought. Uh, yeah, I was thinking a hundred bucks. There was two that sold for fifty. Fifty. Dang. Let me see if there's any listed. There's one at auction at forty dollars. All right, so it, it ain't going to pay for everything. It ain't going to pay for it all. It'll pay for half of it. Damn. Damn. But anyway. Pearl Jam Yield Concert Tea. So there's $50. $50 bill. Beady bam. On my way out. Didn't think I was going to find any high dollar items on my little extravaganza. So there we are, some drive-by thrifting. No phone, walked in the thrift store, boom, 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 grabbed what you know, and leave it at that. Oh, wait, I got a few more items over here because there was a thrift store right across the street, and I go, I'm going to do it again. So I walked in there, but it's a Goodwill, and Goodwills around here are just, they pick over their shit. They don't care about people buying they pick over their shit and or they sell it online or whatever the hell they do with it. So. Got a few items here. A little WWE ring. This is an older one. With the spring. I didn't look it up. I paid $3 for it. I think it's probably only like a $20 to $25 ring, but it's a toy. And I have a hard time passing up toys if I can make a $20 bill on them. These were cool. I hope these will be worth more. I paid $4 for these. Some uh, like zebra striped Asics. Very nice condition, actually. Oh, dude, I paid $8? No, that's a blue. Okay, so I paid $4 for it. They were blue. I don't think blue was half off that day. I think green was half off that day. This one, I, don't, I, I grabbed, I put back. I'm like, I don't know. It's only a Nautica shirt. Nautica, but I love the print on it. So I'm hoping it will do well. I paid all their shirts like four bucks now. They charge four dollars for a damn t-shirt at this place at Goodwill. I know they don't move the product in the store anymore because you walk into a Goodwill around here, the place is just empty. All the time. Empty. Goodwills around here used to be packed. And I'm wondering if they just go straight to like the processing fucking recycling plant or something with the crap because the stores are just empty the prices are way overdone and it's just it's ugly around here right now it didn't used to be this bad but at least the outlet is still it's the outlets are not what they used to be but they're still good so at least we got that for now this one i took a chance on Well, I guess I took a chance on all of them, really, but Winterland label. This is a John Lennon t-shirt. I have no idea what that's going to be worth. Four bucks. Probably killed myself there. This was cool. It 
it's an Arnold Palmer jacket. This is another item I picked up, put down, picked up, put down. Because it's got that cool ass patch on the back. But I can't tell if it's original or not. It, I'm, I don't know if it's original to the jacket or somebody put it on. Either way, I ended up deciding it's a cool freaking jacket with a cool freaking patch. And I should be able to get more out of it than $5. So, hell, if it's the right size, I just might keep it myself. I don't wear jackets, though, man. You're too cumbersome. cumbersome. I'm, the, I'm the guy who's walking around in shorts and freaking flip-flops in the wintertime. I'm out shoveling my driveway with flip-flops on and shorts. That's who I am. So, it'll, it'll go for sale. And the last piece is fucking Goodwill. $8 for this. Eight freaking dollars for a sweatshirt. But it's a blue sweatshirt. It is vintage. The reason I paid up for it is this year they brought the 90s colors back for the third jersey that they're wearing in a few of the games. This color, this style... The 90s blue stuff is really popular with the younger kids now. So I took a chance at eight bucks. I'll probably put it in the store for 30, 35 bucks. So it may take a minute to move, but <clears throat> I'm not going to Goodwill's anymore unless it's the outlet. It, there's, it's just a waste of time. But all right, that's it. That is all my pieces on my drive-by thrifting. Thank you for watching, and uh, are you going to accept the challenge? If you do, tag me in your YouTube video or whatever. I want, I want to see what you did. I want to see what you're... But don't cheat. Don't cheat. Keep it real. Even if you just go in without your phone, do what you do. Keep that stuff separate, and then take your phone and go back in. That's fine. Just don't mix the stuff with the phone without the phone. Keep the stuff with... The, you keep it separate. Let me see the video of uh, you with the stuff without the phone. Let me see what you did. Let me see what you found. So tag me in all that. Wouldn't mind watching. I don't watch many videos on YouTube, but I watch those. Because I'm challenging you to a drive-by. All right. Check you later. Check out my other series. And uh, I got another version of another episode of the eBay way coming. In the next day or two so keep an eye out for that and later